What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop. So this video right here is going to be five things I dislike about Dominican Republic. Now, I gave you guys five things I like and five things I love. Here is five things I dislike. Not hate, because I don't hate anybody or anything, but five things I dislike about Dominican Republic. So first off, in no particular order, um, first, one thing I think is, is big that I really dislike in this country is mental health. They really do not deal with mental health very well. You'll see a lot of people, and I'm not talking about drug addicts, just their drug addicts that go around, whatever the case may be, but I'm talking about people that are mentally ill. They allow them to just roam the street, do whatever they want, harass whoever they want, and they don't do anything about it. There's no, there's no like mental health facilities like that out here. I believe there's a big one in Santo Domingo, but um, they don't really care for the mentally ill. Um, I've seen dudes or, or women in the street take a cop off a bike. And instead of the cop arresting them or, or taking them to a facility so they won't take, mess with nobody else in traffic, the cop runs away and jumps on the bike and, and peels off. So they don't deal with mental health very well in this country. That's one thing I dislike about Dominican Republic because you have a lot of people that are mentally ill just walking around randomly and who know, you know, running through traffic and doing different things. And, you know, I, being from New York, I see a lot of mentally ill people on the subways, on the streets, back in the days, Coney Island. So... It's weird to see so many just running around the streets. Uh, it's, not, it's not very normal. And as I said, that's one dislike I have about DR is the um, mental health issues, how they don't attend to the mentally ill. A second, <laughs> a second and really big thing in this country that I dislike. Let me take a sip of this wine real quick. One thing I really, really dislike is the customer service in the Dominican Republic. Now, if you come to Flip Flop, you know I keep customer service to a T. That's something we pride ourselves on. But customer service is horrible in this country. I mean, the whole notion, hurry up and wait, came from Dominican Republic. Uh, you got to look for your waitress. You got to look, you know, look, you want to get a beer. You got to find the people. It blows my mind. I've, I've been in certain locations that lost sales because the waitress is on her phone. The waitress is looking at me, looking at her. So I'm waiting for her to come over to me, and she's looking at me, waiting for me to make the signal for her to come over. So one thing I despise, and I think it's horrible, is customer service in the country. Um, you'll be at a hotel. You'll say, hey, I'm having problems with the AC. Okay, no problem. We'll take care of it. Six hours later, you come back. Hey, um, my AC's not fixed. A new staff member says, oh, nothing about that. I'm going to put it in now because the last guy didn't do it. I'll take care of it. Come back again. Hey, uh... My AC never got fixed. Oh, man, you know what? We're going to take care of that right now. So customer service just is uh, really horrible in this country. Certain places actually have decent customer service, depending on where you go. But most places don't. Me, when I go out, first thing I do is I grab the waitress and I tell her, I need the ice cold. I need you here every five minutes checking on me. Most of them get it. Most of them don't. So customer service is another thing I dislike in this country. Number three, as I said, no particular order. Uh, traffic. Traffic in this country is horrible. I mean, there's real, no real rules to the road. Um, people leave their brights on at night blinding you. It's, it's kind of, I had to tell a friend of mine, it's not because they're trying to blind you. It's because they can't see because it's so dark out. So traffic is bad. Rush hour traffic is even worse. I'm actually trying to run to Porta Plata now before rush hour traffic starts. I'm probably going to get caught. Um, so, you know, traffic here is really, really bad. A lot of accidents because at nighttime, the motos have no lights, so you won't see a moto um, if you pull, it, pull up on them. Um, you have cows that just randomly cross the street. A lot of accidents with um, cows and horses just randomly in the street. So traffic is very bad altogether because one, no rules to the road. And two, at nighttime, people are driving with no lights or brights on. 
So traffic is really bad in this country. One other thing I dislike. Um, also, number four, something I've spoken about in my expat video, and it's it's honestly, um, there are a lot of social rejects, and I don't just mean Sasua. This video is about Dominican Republic. I'm not just a Sasua guy. I know you guys got Sasua guys. That's cool. But I'm Dominican Republic. I travel everywhere. Um, but there are a lot of social rejects. People who come down here who are on the run, who are running away from something, who didn't have much of a life back home, so they become someone else here. You know, they were Clark Kent, where they're from, and then when they get to Dominican Republic, they become Superman. So you have a lot of social rejects. I mean, the reality is you have a lot of people who are just full of it. You know, um, scammers, um, you know, broke, <laughs> broken abroad. Sorry, I, you know, that that's big down here. Um, you know, they, they, but believe it or not, there are a lot of great people, but there also are a lot of phonies. You know, so that's one thing I, I dislike about here is a lot of the phony expats that come down here trying to be somebody they're not. Um, it, it seems to be a common thing, and I'm used to it by now. As I said, I keep I, I stay cool with the, the expats or the people who come down here who are, are real and not phony. But um, as I said, there are a lot of good people. It's just you get a lot of phonies and scammers and people who are not who they say they are. And you get people who come in here broken abroad, which is kind of weird now, but it's normal. Number five, and there's actually five and five A and five B. Then I'm going to do some myths. I, I, I forgot I wrote down some myths that you guys will be like, why is this not on the list? Well, I'll break it down why it's not on the list. These are my dislikes. So we had mental health. Uh, we had customer service. We had traffic. We had social rejects as far as expats go. Number five is the rumor mill, or in Spanish, chisme, which is weird because people will talk about you and talk about you and talk about you, and then they'll believe a rumor they heard about you and repeat it. Now, me and myself, I've been told I talk about a lot of people. Problem is, I don't have time to talk about nobody. I'm too busy talking about me. You know, I'm too busy having by myself meetings, enjoying my life. So these people just sit and they're bored and they talk and they talk. So the rumor mill is kind of crazy. I don't indulge in it, but it's something that's big in this country. And I mean anywhere, anywhere you go. Uh, someone sees you, they'll talk about you, good or bad. Most of the time it's bad. So the rumor mill down here is kind of crazy. So 5A, what I dislike is you can be sued for almost anything. You could actually be sued in this country for social media. You could be sued for making a threat basically if you were mad and just said, hey, I'm going to kick your ass. You can be sued for that. I mean, it's the weirdest thing. Um, and how also that, you can be sued for that, and people can come and mess with your business illegally. These are things I dislike about this country. Um, I've seen it happen, and it's, it's, it's a weird thing. But for the most part, um, I dislike it because I've seen people be affected by it. And literally, they'll get their business back or they'll get their name back. But it's the process of having to go through court and having to go through all the nonsense, dealing with that BS that I dislike. 5B, or 5C if you want to say. Lights. Listen, I know we're in another country. I know this is not America. But this is the year 2020. I expect lights to not be an issue in the year 2020. That's just me. So lights really bother me. I should, probably should have made it one of the numbers. Maybe a number six, I guess. But lights seem to be an issue in this country that I understand the barrier is cool. But just overall, just lights are a constant issue in this country, and I don't understand why, because I keep reading uh, notices that so-and-so gave money for this light system, so-and-so gave money to improve this light system, I just never see it. So number six, or I would say five BOC, lights. So a couple of myths, you guys are going to say, hey, Flip, why did you add this to the, uh, to, the, um, to the video? Well, here you go, begging. Begging does not occur everywhere, mainly in tourist areas like your Sisua, like your Boca Chica. You don't, I've been places where no one asked me for nothing. The only thing they asked me for was, hey, are you okay? Do you need something? So the begging thing is not predominantly Dominican Republic. It depends on the area that you're actually in. Also, police corruption. It's not as bad as you guys think it is. And I'm gonna tell you like this. You are not getting asked for $5 and you're all of a sudden being extorted like a mob boss. If someone's the cop says, hey, man, can you give me $5? That's different. 
Extortion is on a higher scale. Now, if you get caught up in a situation, yes, there will be some extortion involved. But police corruption is not as big as people make it seem. Now, if it's between the situations where it happens to Sue with the Chica and they call a cop, yes, that's BS. That's a game. But police aren't just running up on people extorting them. That's a, that's a big myth. And a lot of people that tell you that find out the backstory and what happened prior to the police coming or the situation or them going to court, blah, blah, blah. There is not that much police corruption when it comes to one-on-one -on -one people and people traveling and expats. So that's a myth. So people will say, Greg, why you didn't put begging and police corruption on the video? Well, those are myths. They're not as common as, as, as people make it seem, but they are. They do happen. So you guys, glad you guys enjoyed. This is my version of my dislikes of Dominican Republic. You guys check out the other video, likes, my likes and what I love about Dominican Republic. Like, subscribe, share, continue to support the channel. Paradise Life, let me show you guys this other Paradise Life shirt. No gracias. <laughs> Shout out to Brandon. So um, you guys be good. Appreciate the love and I'm out.